Right, Shalom. This is an observation right here. Amelkam Tinsaye. The Tinsaye Baal right here. This is the 20th. Right? This was for the Ehud. Right? Ethiopic year 2006 or modern um, Ethiopian year 2006. Era of Mercy. Ameta Mehiret. Right? The month of Miazia. Or the Wereche Miazia, right? The month is really the moon. This is the is word for moon. Werech, uh, some say, or Wereche, Wereche Miazia in this construction. Or the moon of Miazia, Zemene Marcos Wengelawi, or the year of Mark the the. The evangelist, the evangelist, when Galawi, Zemen Marcos, when Galawi. So the Turgum right here is April to May 2014. Right, so right here, this is the calendar, right? This is the calendar, the can, um, the can. Here we go right here. Let me show you the Ken, right? The the Ken Mequateria, right? 2006 for the Gregorian year, 2013 to 2014. Now, why is the calendar of such importance? Now, the majority of this calendar that is produced uh, as a gauge here is the uh, Nebure Id Armius. Kaveda Welda Iesus, right, or the keeper of Aksum, the last keeper of Aksum appointed by Kedamawi Haile Selassie from the Ethiopia Kingdom of God uh, ministry. And this is Kidanachin, right, which means our covenant, right, beginning from Meskarem on 2006 or 2006 AD, which was September 11th, 2013. Now, we have this in the PDF, right? And the logo, which is also our logo, as uh, Covenant uh, Ethiopians, Ethiopian Hebrews at home and abroad. And this is some of the other information right here, right, on the website. Right, the other information on the website, and you can look up Ethiopia Kingdom of God. Like we said, the majority of their information is the Amarinya. So we need translators as well. Other Ethiopian um, language speakers, Amharic language speakers, to co labor with us to translate this and make this more available. So now we're Pointing out the calendar right here, or the Kenmequateria right here, because the calendar is important. When we talk about signs of the times, right, such as the blood moon. The blood moon is a sign, right, of the Kenmequateria, right, of the time. So the calendar is a time. Like when we talk about almanacs. Almanacs are so very important. On the Rastafari Groundation, um, certain brothers and sisters have also begun to put it into context, the farming season, the agricultural season, the growing season, to really understand that this calendar of ours is not just religious, as many would think of it from a Western Gentile interpretation. In fact, this is a fulfillment of Worthy is Jalam, I and I Rastafari Passover Haggadah, or the Fasika season, and once again a Melkam, right? Once again a Melkam Tinsai. So let's get let's, let's get back to the calendar right here, right? So this here's today, right? Here's today, which will be the twenty first, right? The twenty first of April, right? And the month or the moon of uh, uh, Miyazia, right? The moon of Miyazia, it covers where in the Julian calendar will be April, May 2014. 
So from midway April or so to May is one month from our solar luna. From the Ethiopian perspective, we are solar, right? It is solar lunar calendar from the Jewish or Old Testament, Belui Kidan perspective, it is luni solar. And I liken it to this particular um, analogy right here. The, the moon is like one hand on the celestial clock and the, from the lunar and the solar is like another hand on the celestial clock. And when you tell time with the small hand and the big hand, right, it's also has to do with the numbers, right, and the seasons and the right seasons, right, for such basic things like agriculture, as well as um, spiritual groundation, which they may call our religious or our holy days. And then some of the in additional information, right, um, whether some will say religiously, biblically, I like to say uh, or from its more um, mythos, or when I say mythological. Now, some have an illogical understanding of what is mythological, and we're not going to get into that right here, right now. So here's where we're at. Where are we at, right? And in, in the in the signs of the time, and the best way for us in the groundation of the King of Kings and His Christ is to have a better understanding of the times, right? So when the signs come along, right? The signs, like for example, the blood, the blood moon was around here between Hosaina, Hosaina, Hoshaina, Hosaina, or Ezekiel Nabi, the prophet Ezekiel, into this day right here, which is Ye Semune Himamat Megbiya. Now, Ye Semune, or the week of the Himamat, Passion Megbiya, the opening of Passion Week. And it's also for the Arbenyao, or the Patriot Mari, the Patriot leader. Dagmawiatse uh, Teudros, right? Or Teudros Theodore the Second, the patriot, the patriotic leader, right? So this was the opening, right? This was the opening of um, uh, Passover, right? So this right here is 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 a is another level of the alchemetic, as we say or the metaphysical, or the tawahido, the spiritual understanding of the seasons, right? The reason for the seasons. So when we're speaking about um, from here, water feet, to the future or forward of our seasons, our holy seasons, right? They are spiritual in their root, right? But spirit, soul, body, the Trinity, so... There's also the, the, the agricultural understanding of understanding our almanac. So this is like the, the Ethiopian or the Ethio Rastafari almanac. This here being the Ethiopic or the Ken Mekuteria is solar, the solar hand on the celestial clock. And then when we're speaking about, um, the Haggadah or from our Hebrew, Right from the Hebrew groundation of the Old Testament foundation, that is that is our lunar or the lunar hand on the clock, the lunar, the mother, the soul of the father. So mother and father no longer orphans. We are one. The family is being restored in Kidanachin. And here we go right here, Kidanachin. So I wanted to just touch on a couple of these uh related issues of the importance of 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 the signs of the times and telling time right telling time the almanac or the calendar what time it is we talk about people not knowing what time it is and we need to learn what time it is and this time this season also right here is coming up to the end of 
this Fasica or Hebrew, our Ethio Rastafari Hebrew Passover season is really fulfilled right on this day. This is another thing I notice about this calendar and I see how it fits, right? How it fits like hand and glove, so to speak, our, our Judaic or Judahite groundation, Old Testament, Black Jesse, Black Jacob groundation, and our New Testament, Rastafari, right? Covenant of the King of Kings in Christ, how it's one system. Right? This is one system right here. So not to rush ahead into many might not be able to utilize this calendar very much, but I'm still introducing it so that it is an aspirational level to show, well, where we need to come to in our real time overstanding. Another point I was making was that we look at Africa, right, and we look at famine. And we know that Africa is the richest, you know, one of the richest continents in the world. But yet the people suffer food shortages, lack of lack of um, proper food, nutrition. It's like the land is not yielding because Africa awaits her creators. The King of Kings taught us that Africa awaits her creators or those truly who are the children of God. And have the God mind to understand the signs of the time as well as the seasons, right? And the importance of the seasons, both within its spiritual, the spiritual understanding that these are seasons of downloading high spiritual uh, energies, call it spiritual neutrinos, spiritual groundation, groundational forces and energy, these holy seasons as well as there's a correspondence, right, even to our um, physical, the land, and, and, and the barakat, and the blessing of the land, even on the level of agriculturally, right? That's why I, I talk about Benjamin Banneker, who um, was, who had, who had his almanac, right, and how Benjamin Banneker's almanac caused America to also be um, a blessed place in the sense of the farmers understood the proper seasons for growing and for tilling, right? Not, not just, you see, in the fullness of it, it's growing and tilling spiritually, psychologically, physically, or agriculturally. So we have to see that kind of connection right there. So the Ba'ala Tensai, right? The Ba'ala Tensai was uh, Sunday or what is known as resurrection. Um, some call it Easter. Um, incorrectly, it's called Easter, right? But correctly, it's called uh, a resurrection, right? Or the rising up, right? And so we have to rise up in our, in the Christ mind. We have to rise up in the Christ consciousness. Now today is my adult, right? My adult. And if I'm corrected, I think it has to do with the tables, but there's a history right here where it says, Behiwet Sigai Yalu, Bemenfes, or what a Tinsai Hiwet Meshagar, right? Um, going to the resurrection, right? From the life. This is from, from the, the living in the flesh, right? To going and crossing over the Meshagar to living in the irid or living in the spirit. In other words, instead of having our carnal mind in ascendancy, the fulfillment of this Ba'ala Tensai is to assist and to, um, to, to bless and grace and lift up those who seek to go from the carnal mind to the iritical mind, right? In the observation and the mindfulness of the reason for the season. And here it says, right? The fascist Now it's interesting because this is talking about when the fascist Right, had the fascist Italians had bombed um, the Mahibere, the 
the dwelling of Selassie, right, from the ear, by the power, you know, the forces of the ear have bombed it. So it speaks of a something that's also a historical metasebia for us as Ethio Rastafari and Ethio uh, Hebrews. I mean, something very important, very prophetic in our history, the fascist invasion of Ethiopia, um, the war against the lamb, the conquering line, the tribe of Judah, Ketamawi, Haile Selassie. And now here on this day, which is left blank, interestingly enough, is in this particular 2014, 2006, Ameta um, Miazia, Zemene Mark Oswan Galawi season, which is actually be speaking of the worthy is the lamb, the Passover, the Passover season. Do we have a blank? There's a blank here. And I say this blank now is fulfilled by the fact that this is the fulfillment of this Passover season. Right? The reason for this season and the blood moon sign needs to be interpreted within this context. So this is the reason in other words, for the season, brothers and sisters. So this is just a brief word on the importance of telling time, right? In our divine time. And there's a lot much more information here that if I had even more time to go through a translation of this, but I know there's other brothers and sisters, right? Who are joining this family, this groundation, who might be able to assist us in that particular way, free up. Right, in John Rastafari and the King of Kings and through his Christ, free up thy, the eye self. And you can fellowship with us right here, right? And there we go right there, Rastafari Groundation, right? Rastafari Groundation can share more. There, 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 there we go right there. Let's see if we can. This is what I was talking about. Just to add this particular concept right here. Look what it says right here. The next growing season, right? Move the row so that they are halfway between where the rows were last year. Um, farming and agricultural and, and kibbutz, right? Orientated advice, right? See, this is where it becomes practical. This is where the wisdom in that sense becomes practical, becomes a matter of practice. So there's a spiritual component or a metaphysical component. And then there is the um, physical or phycycle component, right? The growing, the agriculture. Because some will say, well, there's nothing special about the season spiritual. It's just an agricultural season. Well, that's how they see it because they're blind to the spirit. So we see it as one, right? Spirit, soul, and body. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, man, woman, and child, in that oneness, in that groundation, 